25. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are watching episode 25 of Free Ren. And uh, I hope they stop playing around this time, man. They've been teasing the Free Ren clone for like two, day, uh, two episodes now and I'm tired of waiting. So I wanna see what Fern can do and how she's gonna figure this out. Cause she seems pretty confident. So let's check it out guys. So now I'm wondering what's worse, getting Sense's uh, doppelganger or getting free Ren's? <laughs> well, it's a good thing they were able to actually confirm that for sure. Uh, before going into battle so now at least they can rework their strategy around that fact alone it's crazy just how powerful a person can be when you eliminate their like thoughts and feelings you know what i mean and it's just them and their fighting prowess left <laughs> it's insane I was wondering what happened to them. We haven't even seen them in a while. They don't seem like they've had any issue at all getting through here. So I guess having a little bit of information ahead of time is useful because <laughs> they don't not a not a speck of dust is on them. They seem fine. <laughs> I mean, this dude was literally trying to kill them earlier, so it's it's only natural that figuring out that he's not a team player, like it's it wasn't that hard. He didn't seem like he was willing to work together all that well, and he definitely was ready to kill them in a heartbeat, so I wouldn't trust him either. I still don't trust him, to be honest. Even though he doesn't seem like he's a particularly bad guy outside of the dungeons and the stuff that's going on here. I like how they brought that up as an option. Like nobody ever considers that in like games and stuff or whatever, <laughs> especially when you have a character that's particularly strong, you know, a character that can like punch through a building or something. They approach a locked door and they're like, well, the door is locked. There's no way into this room. And it's like, I mean, not you, you could probably knock the wall down. <laughs> Like, if you really wanted to, you you don't have to use the door. And they're like, nope, door's locked. There's no way. It's just like, what the heck? Mm, so this is a common spot for people to meet their end, huh? Sheesh. Like I said, I, I talked about this before. It is kind of crazy how many people just flat out die in these trials and situations like this. <laughs> That's crazy. The oldest and the youngest person in the room 
noticed it, but everybody else missed it. His mind should be like, you know, deteriorating at this point and hers ain't even as developed as everybody else's. I mean, like Fern spends all of her time with her. So like, I, I would expect her to know it, but it, it's just kind of crazy how just how knowledgeable she is about Free Ren and all of her weaknesses and stuff. That is nuts, dude. So out of all of her experience, after all this time, <laughs> she can't do both at the same time. There's like a brief moment where she stops detecting mana. Nobody would even, like the old man said, nobody would expect that to be a thing because it's just like, no, there's no way. There's no way you who has been living this long, that can't be a flaw of yours, right? No, oh, it is. <laughs> that is, that is too funny. <laughs> How are they always fighting? Like, I don't get it. Like, people aren't even paying any attention to them anymore. <laughs> Oh my god, it's behaving just like Miss Free Ren predicted. Oh yeah, nobody knows her like her, that's for sure. But the, the the way that Fern got the hell out of there, she knew what was coming. Oh, I'm excited. I hope this is gonna be crazy. <laughs> That's what I just said. Nobody knows how frightening I can be quite like me. That's like, some people would look at that and be like, wow, that's really fucking narcissistic or like, oh, that's, you're being super cocky. It's like, no, like, I fucking does this. Like, I, I got the, the, the chops to back it up. Like, this ain't no... Like, if I mess around with this opponent, I'm going to die. This is me we're talking about. <laughs> That's also the reason why she's so quick with it, too. Like, why she can fire it off instinctively. It's the first spell you learn, you know? For Free Ren, this is like the thousandth spell over a span of thousands of years, you know? Like, there's so many. And even if she's known it for longer than Fern's been born, that ain't got nothing on the fact that it's all Fern has known. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's it. It is the only spell she knows. Well, not the only one, but it's the main one she knows. Oh, so this is how. Okay, so magic was basically forbidden. And it was considered a, a thing only demons did, but because of phlegm, it has now been authorized to be taught. Well, I, I, apparently people still studied it, but it was taboo to do so. So obviously there were still mages, but they were probably like underground or 
or just uh, up to no good, I guess. Wow, that's great. Could you imagine? Everybody wants to leave their mark on the world. Like, well, not everyone, but you know, a lot of people have that ambition to leave their mark on the world. But imagine leaving that kind of mark. You, you literally change the course of human history. Like as a whole, the entirety of the human race will now change because of you. That is unbelievable. Of course she did. Of course she did. Trust me. She didn't just learn from you for nothing. Just like Flam understands you. And Free Ren understands Flam. And Fern understands Free Ren. Like it's 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 a never ending cycle. Like, trust me, the the student always comes to if you spend that much time with your master, you're gonna come to understand them. She knew you wouldn't like this at all. Oh, look at little Flam. Oh, man, I love the fact that this, this story it goes so deep and gives you so much lore about the characters and stuff. You get to see them in so many different forms and eras and timelines. It's just, I just love it. Man, I love this stuff, man. I love getting all this lore and just hearing about these characters that we've come to care so much about. Like, it's amazing to see, like, from the very beginning, that that was always her goal, really, is to just spread magic around and just let it be something that everybody can experience and enjoy. And eventually it did turn into kind of something else. Maybe she did want to help. Maybe she did want people to be able to fight the Demon King and stuff like that. Like, eventually it probably got to that point, but this is just like the culmination of an innocent kid's just wish that her master thought was impossible and was actually disgusted by it. Like, oh, that's gross. Like, we don't want a world like that. But she's just like, eh, your life's so short. Like, what are you going to be able to accomplish? And she fucking did it, dude. That's crazy. And that human mage is Fern. That's funny. You're powerful now, but in a thousand years, if you neglect your training, you're going to be killed by one of two people. Either the Demon King or just a regular ass person. <laughs> a mage, that is. I've never seen a person so pleased to watch herself be obliterated. I feel like she was looking forward to this moment. I feel like all this time, after thousands of years, she has been waiting for somebody to be able to kill her. It's kind of crazy to know that if Fern ever decided to, like if it ever came to it, she could just straight up one shot free red. That's nuts to think about. Like, just wrap your mind around that for a second and just think about the implications. Freerin, a mage that has been living for thousands of years now, 
who has crazy potential when it comes to mana and all that stuff, is she can be one shot by a mage who ain't even she like Fern is literally a fledgling mage. She ain't even really gotten to the point to where, you know, she's I mean, she's notable because of her talent and the fact that she was trained by a hero, but she's like she's not like crazy impressive. She was 16. 17 somewhere around there. And she can one shot free Ren. Now. Mind you, this is the same free Ren that killed the Demon King, who killed that other demon, which means that the Fern now at 16 that we are seeing now is capable of killing the Demon King. Or at least doing it with help. Because Free Ren did have help. So we can't we can't give her all the credit for killing the Demon King. She had help. But that's insane, man. That is crazy. This is why this show is so great, man. The world building and just the the way that the story is presented and the information that they give you, it's all relevant stuff that people be dying to know about. But so many shows withhold stuff like this because they think it'll be slow or boring, but I love this stuff, man. This is an amazing episode. <laughs> they, they did such a good job with this one. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Bye -bye.